Hi, Corey here for another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. I am here to talk to you a little bit about some of the great announcements that we had last week. Uh, last week we ended up having a, a relatively big conference. Uh, it's called the Worldwide Partner Conference. And so we bring all the partners in uh, and we sort of talk about some of the things that we're going to be working on and some of the next wave of innovation that we've got in the platform. And as part of that, we announced a bunch of really cool things. Um, and so I'm going to list a few things for you and kind of walk you through some of the things that we announced. Uh, first of all, we announced actually Linux support uh, for OMS, or the Operations Management Suite. Uh, and so this is uh, an agent that actually goes onto the box for Linux, um, like we do with Windows today. Um, and now we'll bring back uh, all that data into OMS. And so it uh, effectively allows you to manage both Windows and Linux, really cool stuff. Um, and so it's, again, sort of another step towards really making uh, uh, Linux just awesome in all aspects of the Azure platform. The other thing that we announced is similar sort of vein. Um, historically, for, for Linux, when people would call in and say, hey, I've got an issue, I'm running XYZ on, on Azure, um, we would say, well, you know, we see the bottom of this platform and it seems to be running great, so good luck. Um, and so what we end up, we, I'm sorry, we never actually said that. <laughs> now I sound like a jerk. <laughs> I apologize. I apologize to, to anyone who didn't actually say that. So anyway, the, 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 it used to be a much brighter line between sort of being able to support uh, the infrastructure versus being able to support the things above the infrastructure. Um, and so the thing that we've actually announced is a, a lot more graying of that line. Right? Sometimes maybe there's just a configuration uh, to a tweak that can be made um, or some uh, performance investigation or analysis that can be done. Um, and so we effectively are, are coming in and saying, you know what, we, we're here to help. Right? And so um, we'll go in and actually offer quite a bit more help in some of those areas. Now, will we actually go in and uh, debug the kernel uh, and actually sort of give a fix in the kernel? Uh, you know, probably not. Uh, 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 and so, uh, you know, obviously there are there are experts and, and folks who are better at that than, than, than we're going to be. But, um, you know, making sure that we're giving people the right experience and the right support as they continue to use the platform is really the top goal. And so, so really, it's, a, it's actually a pretty big change. It's pretty exciting uh, for us. Um, and so the last thing, actually, that we've done um, uh, is we um, announced a brand new uh, template experience deploying in the portal. And so I've talked about templates to you a ton. And in fact, I talked with Rick and I said, hey, I'm going to talk about templates. He's like, that's boring. You talk about templates all the time. Here's what's different. We announced last week uh, with Datastax, which is a fantastic Cassandra provider, uh, if, if you're familiar, um, a great sort of scale out data solution. Um, uh, we announced the ability to deploy with a single click uh, uh, multiple tiers of, of sizing for a data stacks cluster. So you can with a single click deploy four, you can deploy 12, you can deploy 36, and it'll go, it'll spin it up, it'll actually configure, it spins up the op center and goes in to manage it on top. And you can sort of with a single click go through the portal, uh, answer a few questions, uh, and you get the whole cluster out for you to use. And it's just really cool because suddenly you don't have to go and create those VMs, you don't have to go click, 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 click. You don't have to go on the boxes at all. It uses our extension technology technology on Linux to be able to install everything. It configures Ops Center using the extension technology, running some bash scripts. And so it just takes care of everything. And this is the beginning. Right? This is one of the first ones that we've actually enabled this way. Um, uh, and uh, it's really exciting because you can actually download the template from the portal if you want to go take a look and see how we're doing it. Uh, and so you can build on top of that if you want to. Um, or you can just use the one that we've got. And so this will be the first of many. We've got actually quite a few in the pipeline. Um, so you'll start seeing quite a few more partners coming out um, with solutions that are going to be available for you to deploy. If you're a partner, please come and talk to us, uh, and we'd love to actually talk about how to get that solution going. So, um, uh, uh, you know, and actually, I, what I'll do is I will actually show you a little bit of this view. Well, how about that? You look in here? Can you see? So there, let's see, this is super hard to do. This is a really, really expensive way to do demos. <laughs> To film it on a phone <laughs> watching me holding my laptop. No, it's good. This is good. It's good. So you can see here uh, sort of the experience. Uh, and so you can sort of see it. it'll go step by step by step. And there'll be a point where you can actually say how big you want the cluster. Um, uh, and so uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Let me zoom down here. Uh, and so you can sort of see at a certain point it'll ask you how big you want the cluster. You put in your licensing information for data stacks, and again, away you go. So super cool, super powerful. Um, and again, this is just the beginning. It was great to announce that last week. So. Um, 
And of course, all of that's deployed on top of Linux. And so it kind of plays out nicely with sort of the overall uh, set of improvements and advances we've got across Linux everywhere. And so it's been a really exciting time. Um, again, it just can, continues to go here. Uh, sort of the Linux support on Azure is just getting better and better. Um, and so uh, we're excited. We're loving it. And uh, you know, compared with my last show, where I spent the whole time talking with Jeffrey Snover about sort of Nano and, and PowerShell, and now all the, all the great stuff with Linux on Azure, it really should be able to run anything you want. Uh, so you know, come check it out. Give us a try. And um, definitely come on and uh, send me some notes on Twitter. Um, it's uh, the hashtag, which is the little pound sign, um, <laughs> Azure TWC, which stands for Azure, the, like the color and the cloud platform. Uh, Tuesdays with Corey, TWC. Um, and so hit me up on Twitter. Uh, or, or uh, of course, go on to this and put sort of comments down here if you want to, um, and we'll answer other questions for you. And so that's all I got. Happy Tuesday. Enjoy the rest of your week, and uh, we'll see you around next week. Thanks a lot. <laughs> the little salute at the end is real nice. That's, uh, I think that's going to win a lot of people over. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, this is what happens doing it at the end of the day on Friday after like you, a man. really stressful day. <laughs> I hear all you. Right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, shut up. Shut up, everybody.